Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is get random reachable point in radius. So this is our node here, and we're going to take a look at what it does. I'm going to run my little example. You can see this yellow sphere that indicates the point I'm moving to based on the node, and you can see my character running to it using the get random reachable point in radius node. So let's look at the node and how we would use it. It's going to take in an origin. It's a vector that basically where we want this random reachable point to start from, where we're going to look for it. And it's going to be in a radius around that location. In this case, I'm grabbing my actor's location. And the radius is 10,000 units. You can put whatever you want. Two optional points of data are a nav data. It's a navigation data object reference. If you don't know what that means, leave it alone. Basically, it will get this from the world, so you don't have to worry about filling this in. And then a filter class. So if you're using a filter, maybe you want to eliminate certain things from your search results, you can use a filter class here. The outputs are going to be a random location, so it's going to be a vector somewhere within that origin and radius, and a return value on whether it was true or false it went through. Now the difference between this node and the other AI nodes is this one has a reachable requirement. So you saw when we ran our example, well, it looked fine. We could reach anything on our platform. If we ran our example here and we pulled up our navigation data, you can see our entire platforms, our navigation point. We can see our character successfully going from one reachable point to another. Now if we introduce some obstacles, let's go ahead and put a cage or border around our character. You can see now it's rebuilt, and our player should not be able to get outside of this cube. When we run our example, and we eject out, and we look at what's going on, you'll notice our reachable point is going to stay inside of this area. We're using our character as a location. We're looking 10,000 units around them in a radius, and we're finding something we can reach, which means it's only going to be something within this area based on the way our AI is set up. And he will, of course, continue doing this, and it's always going to be in an area he can reach inside of this navigation area. And that's basically it. That is our get random reachable point in radius node. Takes in where we want to start it from, some radius around that, and gives us a location that our character is going to be able to reach from this origin within that radius using our navigation data. 